All right. Hey, it's just so Trish. And for those that are coming and watching the replay, I am going to be walking you through how I do my homeschool planning each week to for our, for my homeschool kids that are doing FLVS Flex. So I have three homeschooling at the time. All three are in high school. I have a senior, a junior, and a freshman. My senior takes a class at the school, which is now currently homebound for that because of the issues with the hurricane. And then I have, and then she takes FLVS classes this semester. My junior takes a combination of college classes through dual enrollment and um, FLVS classes. And then my freshman at this moment is 100% um, FS. So one of the things you do, and you can do, we do FLVS Flex. So we can start a course whenever we need to start a course. And we can work at it on our own pace. We can, we don't have to add them all at once. We can put them on. Um, we can, we can stagger them out is what we do. So a lot of them will have pacing guides and they'll look something like this is a pacing guide. So what we have on here is we have a pacing guide and I'm sorry if this is backwards, hopefully not backwards your image. Um, I'm doing it a little differently. I'm doing this chat via the computer and not my phone. So I'm seeing how it works because I'm using a webcam so that I can actually get in here and show you. Okay, good. It's not backwards. It's just backwards to me. That's perfect. All right. So what I have is you can get a pacing chart. So this is a pacing chart, I believe, for geometry. And this is for segment one. So how FLBS is separated is it separated by segments instead of semesters? And then chapters are called modules. And some of them are set up to be done. They have them set up to be done quickly or long. So if you think of a segment as a semester, it kind of gives you an idea of when you should be finishing or how long it should take. So in this one, this is geometry if you want to do it. And it says at... Um, an eight week pace somewhere in here. It said an eight week. Well, it's eight weeks because I have it here. And so it tells you, you need to be averaging around four assignments a week. If you do that, you'll get it done in eight weeks. So we're shooting for that goal to have the semester done by Christmas. So now you would have these for each one of your classes. I want to do this one. Nope. For each one of your classes, you would get one of these. And so typically what I do is I print them out or I have them online and then I go through and I get, see, I have this nice, big, huge clipboard. And what I have in here is I just go online and I print out a calendar, just a basic calendar. And in doing that, I go through and I write. So now what I want you to understand is that it looks very heavy. I don't assign the work for the day. I assign the work for the week. And I just kind of treat Monday as one assignment, two assignment. You know, it kind of goes one, two, three, four, five in my mind. This is how I do it. All right. So I will use this calendar. And I've only printed to December because the goal is just the semester. I'm only thinking per semester and not for the whole year. Good morning, Mayflower. So I have that. I also print out the Zoom. Not every um, class and teacher has it like this, but I can print out the live lessons. And I like to print out the live lessons. And then I get my favorite calendar. So Lottie's looks a little different. I'm using hers today. We've put stickers on them. Why? Because everybody has these calendars in my house. And they, where do they come from? The Dollar General for $5. I like mine. I use mine as my top three. So I write my top three. I'm going to do every day. And then I'm going to try and get done today, like my top three for the day. And then I also put appointments in there. So each one has one of these. They're in the planning section. Good morning, Erica. They're in the planning section of Dollar General is what you want to go ahead and grab. And this is what I found of all my years of homeschooling. Um, this has been my best planner for my kids. 
So this is, if you're in Florida, for free, the state provides um, Florida Virtual School. It's FLVS is Florida Virtual School. And with Florida Virtual School, um, they're literally accredited classes through the state of Department of Education, and they're free. They have it where you can actually enroll through FLVS as your school, as a charter school, or you can be in school, homeschooled, private schooled, and you can take so many FLVS flex classes. As a homeschooler, you could take all your classes there. As a private schooler, I think they get to a semester that they're allowed to, to access. Good morning. So we are using that. I'm just out of place. I'm going to be honest. Of all the years homeschooling, I am so thankful to get a little private school in our church. It's across the road. I mean, it's the first thing I can run into before I even find civilization out here. Um, for my younger kids, I just mentally am not there anymore. I wish I was. I wish I still had that like spark and that enthusiasm. But to be honest with you, I'm just super tired. So my three kids have decided to homeschool my older one. And um, yeah, Florida's a great state to be in. Just just saying. Um, but I've but my deal is right now and where I'm at in life is you either will take your coursework through FLVS, dual enrollment or the high school. I am not buying curriculum. I've bought so much curriculum over the years of hopes to use it, not finishing it. Amazing Apologia. I just threw out beautiful brand new curriculum by not grass because of the hurricane. So I'm just kind of spent mentally, emotionally, financially. I'm spent. So this is the only thing I've got going for me at the moment to be able to continue homeschooling. So it's just the older kids. Um, before the hurricane, my young, my freshman, she was in high school. And then after the hurricane with the condition of the buildings are just not good with us having previous mold exposure. So this is why we do FLVS and everything else. So, all right. So you get your pacing chart and you really want to get one of these. I just love them. And I'll show you real quick. This is it's a two-sided. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around. This is why I set up today. And let's hope this works right. I wish I could show you what I have going on with this thing today. All right. So let's see. Look at that. I bought this for y'all back in the day. I thought I was going to do more videos. Okay. So this is what, this is what it looks like. And I really like it because it gives you kind of the day of the week a focus to do notes, um, a habit tracker if you want, and then the dates. All right, so I am going to do Lottie's today. Let me see. Um, I'll show you what she did. This is what it looks like last week. So what I do is I, I literally list out the notes. Um, in the notes section, I write down what she needs to work on for the week. She highlights it as she goes. I write down events that they need to be at. So she had the PERT test Monday and Tuesday. Um, she had an ortho. She got her braces off. Um, we had a football game Friday night. And then we, on Sunday, weigh pigs. And she should have for each meeting written in there. Um, so we write that. And then she'll come back and she writes what she got done on what day. All right. So here we go. And hopefully you can. I don't know. I don't know how to stop it if it's going to go in and out of focus. Okay, so what I do each week is, so I've listed out according to what we need to get done to be on task. And every Monday, so what I've already done is I've gone on to FLVS and I double check where she's at and I cross out where we're at. Blue means it's done. Blue is her color. Each kid has a different color and it's done. And I like to highlight the entire day that that is completely done. So this one is actually, it's not completely done I had written down 103, but she's not taking honors, so she doesn't need to do that. But she still has an English assignment to do. So I'm not going to highlight that whole day until that's done. But this helps me go, what do we need to do to be here? All right. So we begin. I'm just going to do it like this. 
So what I just do is I'm going to simply start with English. And she needs to do 103 from last week and 104. And this week she needs to do 105, 106. And I'm going to put a star here that she needs to do 107 DBA. So a DBA is a discussion-based assignment. And what that is is it happens in each module, typically for a course. But we need to focus on after Friday, see that after Friday, FLVS teachers won't be available. I think it's December, let's see, 3rd, 4th, till the available until 12 the 5th. So I'm going to tell her prioritize DBAs. Because in the end, I'm really trying to teach them to take the lead on the things. I'm going to go ahead and lay out the plan and what we need to get done. But we need to do, we need to lay that out. So they're off for two weeks. They're off for Thanksgiving and they're off for like a teacher training. All right. I draw a little line here. So that's that. So for geometry, she needs to do her 104 DBA, 106. She did 105 already. And you can kind of go out of order, but they don't like that whatsoever. Why do I have that? Oh, never mind. All right, so we have that. We have... Like I've messed up some of my own stuff. All right. She has 107, 108. She's going to have to put in some time in this. There's two parts. So this must be an exam since this would be an exam. So there's two parts to this. And I actually allotted them a day each based upon that. A DBA is a discussion-based assessment. So essentially... They're going to have a phone call with their teacher and they're going to talk to make sure they're the ones doing their work, their understanding, and they actually get a grade for it, which is really cool. So then we have driver's ed. There's ed. And so with driver's ed, she still needs to finish up 7.4, 7.5, which that has a quiz and an assignment. And then she's so close to being done, 8.2, 8.3. They're very quick assignments, so that's why they're kind of doubled. You see, they're doubled here. And the goal is to get that 10 DBA done, so then she can actually be done with driver's ed by Thanksgiving. If she's not, it's fine. She'll just do it after Thanksgiving. I'm just trying to get her load lightened a little quicker. Um. So there's just no way that she's going to get all this done. So I'm going to stop there. So I'm actually going to stop here for the assignments. And if she can get farther, she can. But I don't want her to feel so overwhelmed that she has that ADHD freeze. If you have ADHD, you understand. Like that feeling of being overwhelmed can absolutely freeze you. And then she has Spanish. So she's actually doing Spanish too. And then on Spanish 2, she is caught up. So she's at 407. She has 408. And she has 409 DBA. And that will let her take her Spanish exam. And then she can start the next one. All right. So that's what she has. This is her assignment. And then I'm going to come here. Let me write my dates in. I'm going to write my dates in here. What do we have? 11, 14, and we go to 11, 20. So things I want her to remember. 11, 14, 11, 15, 11, 16. If I was on it, I'd put like some really cool stickers in here, but I'm not. 
11, 19, and 11, 20. I typically don't go ahead. I found in the past, especially with my own ADHD, the moment I like start filling in all of this is the moment I don't use my tool. For some reason, using my tool and having to start new every week helps it feel fresh for me. So I'm more apt to use it. I know this sounds nuts. Some of you will not understand. And some of you are like, yes, I absolutely get it. The other part is if we take a week off um, or forget to use it in a week, it's fine. We just start every, every Monday's a, a, a clean slate. So I really, really like that. All right. So today there's a um, 4-H teen meeting. She has um, weightlifting practice. She has on Thursday a weightlifting meet. Um, and I think that is all she has. I think that's all she has. And then I like to draw a line at the bottom because this is Saturday. And this is Sunday. And so Sunday, she always has play practice. So I do this and put the dates down. And then one of the other things I like to do, I've done that, is then we write down the schedules. Let me see, let me see. Okay. What I've done, I'm going to have to reorganize this all too, is... I will write down the um, Zooms that are available. So there's no Zooms for Spanish and there's no Zooms for driver's ed. You can, if you're having a problem, you can go in and request time with a teacher to go over it, but they have Zooms this week for English. So, and they tell you, so this would be module three, lesson 306, 308. And where is she at? In English, she's still on one. So I can look here and I can see, because I've already written these out, none of these um, lessons are going to help her. It's not, it's not going to be anything she's covering right now. So I'm not going to put any Zooms in there for English. Let me check geometry. Well, Spanish does have Zooms. I'm sorry. But they happen at 4 o'clock, not... Um, not during the day, which has been a big pain in the butt with um, classes, with her doing weightlifting and having after school activities. I've already told them they weren't being inclusive, but they didn't ask that to me. So I'm going to have to go back on here later and double check her geometry and reorganize my little thing. But see, I have that. So this is what I keep. I keep this is my pacing guide. And I have a bunch of them. So this is my pacing where I go ahead and I pace out. What's really nice is I have it laid out that this is what we have through December. The goal is to be done as soon as possible, but she'll probably have to finish up afterwards. Just she didn't, you know, with a hurricane, we're about a month and a half behind. So we're just doing our best to get done. What I found, as long as you can stay on track, you can get through credit so much quicker. Um, the other thing, too, I'm keeping in mind is our goal is to, um, I don't know why I wrote that. Our goal is to do, she's using Florida curriculum. Yes, we are using FLBS, Florida Virtual School. Um, we will be registering her to do U.S. History next semester. She'll do English 2, Geometry 2, and she'll be doing Ag Foundations on FLBS. So this is continued to what she already has. And so is the geometry. She'll be done with the Spanish. She'll be done with the driver's ed. And so then she'll go into ag foundations and world history. So world history is going to be pretty rough. We have found, I've been quite overjoyed ag foundations, which is essentially ag in the classroom. It has been a great online course. I really like the ag foundations class. Um, and then the goal is she'll take computers at the college. And so she will, so essentially she'll be only focused on five courses next semester. Right now she's focused on four. 
courses. And she did receive some credit because they were doing full credits in a semester at the high school. So she received like half a credit of Spanish. She received half a credit of theater. There's one more half a credit. Marine science she earned. But the Ag Foundation counts as a science in Florida. So that will be actually her full one to go. So I hope this helped. And if it was interesting, leave, give me a thumbs up. Um, some of you have never probably been to my channel before. And my channel is, I'm a homeschool mom of six. Well, I have six kids. I'm a mom of six that has homeschooled from the beginning and then took a year off. And then I somewhat homeschool, I somewhat private school. I was public schooling, one of them between them. We live in a small house. And we just try to do our best to live well and to live healthy. So I hope this helped you. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button so you can keep track of what's going on. I try to go live or put a video out. I did say every day this year, but it hasn't been that way. Um, every day this month, it's been more like two to three. So let me turn this back around. Um, I can't figure out how to do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not succeeding at all today. Hold on a second. I feel like a ding dong. I'm going to go with it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this was good for you. And if you have not been here before, I'm glad you showed up and stopped by. And this is just how we just do the plan with me for the FLVS. And if you want to see more about using FLVS Flex, just leave me a comment below and I will be happy to make you videos. Until then, toodles. Toodles. Toodles.